Well, hey, how you doing, Dick? Let's talk a little bit about the Haitian situation. You know, all of this sort of reminds me of that old saying. I, I think I even heard Eddie Murphy say it in one of his comedy routines when he says, what have you done for me lately? What has Haiti done for the U.S. lately? What have they ever done? Ever. Haiti, they've, they've been a country nearly as long as the U.S. has. How long does it take these people to get their act together? But, you know, they had a big earthquake. Okay. Should we help out of the kindness of our hearts? Well, you know, that's okay. If it was voluntary. But, you know, in regards to the president's pledge to financially aid Haiti, hmm, that's not voluntary. I see nothing in the president's job description that allows him to indebt the citizens of the U.S. when it comes to aiding some third world shithole that's always been a shithole that's never done anything beneficial for the U.S. In fact, if I had to stop and actually look at it, pull up examples, I would show you that they've been rather harmful to the U.S. But charities, you know, those should be voluntary. Now, I for one would like to see a, a complete reform of what is and isn't a charity. What does it take to, to be named a charity or to be a charitable organization or to have the benefits of these big name charities? Reform for these things, you know, especially when, when you have top CEOs making no doubt millions of dollars. And I'm sure that information pertaining to how much they make and what benefits they've got when it comes to being a charity, I'm sure that information is available in regards to what gets paid to who and how much actually goes out to help people in comparison to how much they spend on advertising and paying all their top CEOs. But it sure ain't easy to come by, that information. Seems to me like uh, everyone is lining up to make a buck. The media, the charities, the celebrities. You know, maybe some celebrities are doing their benefits out of generosity. But I suspect there would be many of them who would give up their time now as an investment of sorts. So, so they're remembered later on for their good deeds. And so they shine in the public spotlight. You know, perhaps their next motion picture will, will get better attendance now. So they'll ultimately make more money. Fact is, we really don't know. What we do see is a complete circus going on. You know, and while we're on that topic, then there we've got people who are giving charitably, who are not with some big corporate named charity, sort of like the uh, Baptist missionaries from Idaho that have been jailed for a few weeks now, all for trying to help but not having the name of a huge corporation behind them. You know, I personally think they were stupid for going to Haiti in the first place, but I seriously doubt they went there for hope of any personal gain. Now, you can say what you like about how, well, they're charged criminally, this and that, but I'll bet you, in the end, they're going to be released without there being any charges. But in the meantime... We're going to see one big media circus and someone always stepping up trying to make a buck off someone else's misery. Charity should be just that. It should be charity and not obligatory. I, for one, choose not to give as I don't want to see my hard-earned money go to people who have never stood up and done anything for us much less for themselves. Look back on it historically. Once again, what have they ever done for us? 
Before the quake, Haiti already relied on international aid just to survive. You know, let's make some other comparisons here. When the tsunami hit East Asia, Southeast Asia, a few years ago, did you see people roaming the streets with machetes? But you do in Haiti. Was the situation with the tsunami any less tragic? Am I the only one who sees a problem with that? Let's make some more comparisons here, Dick. Have a look at New Orleans. Can you see the correlations? <laughs> many years ago, different topic, many years ago there was this huge famine that the United States, of course, had to jump up and jump in, and all the celebrities jumped on the bandwagon, and there was the media aiding Ethiopia. I think that was the last time I remember when there was some huge drive on the part of charities to aid. The U.S. rushed in with their aid. Okay, well, uh, let's look at other situations, maybe where there was barbaric behavior. Sort of like the rioting in L.A. Or the murdering we see going on in South Africa. What correlations or, or common denominators can you come up with for all of these areas, dick? You know, you could be a dick all you like. But try not to be a dumbass on top of it all. It's all really simple. And I'm too sexy for you. <laughs>